Hey everybody, welcome to mygenealogyaddiction.com. I want to use this video to introduce you to my website for those who have not seen it or those who just don't know what to look for in there. Uh, I started this site to share family history with my family and uh, a lot of people have contributed photos and I just keep finding more stuff so I post them in my new blogs and each blog is divided into tags which come up over here like all the Reese Reynolds Robinson Shirley all these surnames if you're looking for those click on those and you'll see my blogs pertaining to those names uh, also places can be found here and general history there's a lot to be found in here um, hopefully most of them are on my genealogy links page but some of them may not be so just browse around uh, also if you go to my surnames page, you can read about the various names that I'm researching. And that's different than the links on the previous page with the blogs. This is this is a page for each branch of the family and gives a summary of the family history. So that's the uh, surnames page, the virtual family cemetery is a place where I post graves of my ancestors. Uh, it's like a one big cemetery. Uh, there's the wall of honor, which shows my ancestors who fought in American, uh, battles and served in the military in the American revolution and civil war and other battles. And, uh, then I found so many things and people always ask me how I found these things and where do I find them so I have been creating this section that shows links to resources that you can use to do the same as I have done to find lots and lots of stuff. Uh, Genealogy Bank is a paid site but it is very good there's a lot of good newspapers on there so if you go into American records you can see a lot of uh, great resources for researching American ancestry, New England, New York, Pennsylvania, go into each of these, whatever place you're looking for. And if you're looking for something in the Northeast, if not, there are other states down here, there's a few, but I haven't collected information about many of those because my ancestors have primarily been in the Northeast and uh, also in the United Kingdom, which you can go back to the foreign records. And that shows English, Irish, Italian, Dutch, Asian, Canadian, Latin American, African, and other historical books. There's a ton of stuff in here to find at least some interesting things. Okay, so uh, in the American records, you'll see there's newspapers. This is a great link right here. It, I have provided you with all the top sites that I use for free newspapers. Uh, Fulton History is my favorite. There's a little tip here. I might do a video about that eventually. Uh, then there's Genealogy Bank as a paid site. And a couple of years ago, I put together this list which shows how many newspapers, titles, newspaper titles each of these sites had in each state. So you can see that Genealogy Bank has the most, most of the time. But like in New York, uh, this column here, Fulton History has 622 titles so they're probably all the same ones that genealogy bank has so if you're researching new york just try full in history instead of um paying before you pay but then it wouldn't hurt to pay you could use the link up here to get into genealogy bank and try you might be able to get a free subscription and it is a great site i must say um so, but there are tons of free ones that you can check out first. So there's more down here. This helps you find a list of what newspapers, so you know what newspapers were in the area where you are looking, where your people lived. And so that's just the newspaper button. In the military records button, you have uh, links to a lot of material where you can find information about soldiers and records of each of the wars and then you can see blogs that I've posted pertaining to various military matters and things about the era. There's quite a few in there. Some resources in there. 
that you can use great resources so just take a look and see if there's anything you're looking for pertaining to any of those matters like here history of Pennsylvania volunteers you can access all five volumes of this book um, so there's some good stuff in there in the blogs themselves so I'm not sure if they're even like history the, the oh there's the Pennsylvania volunteers one yes so most of those are here so use this page for military records and then census records you can also find for every year uh, on f sites where you don't have to pay so you don't have to subscribe and pay for census records anymore you used to have to but uh, if you didn't know where to look but now it's pretty easy to find them for each year up to 1940 presently because the 1950 census will not be released until 2022 we have five more years to go because of the 72 year rule but then there's also Indian census rules here so you can always subscribe for free updates at the bottom of any of my pages so you can get updates by email when I post new blogs but um, so again go to the genealogy links American records is where you'll find a lot of good stuff so I hope you like it so please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>